Dr. Jeremy Weiss here. I'm founder of InspiredInsider.com, where I talk with inspirational entrepreneurs and leaders and how they overcome big challenges in life and business. Today, I'm excited. We have Joshua Boswell, who's one of the top direct response marketers. He is the secret weapon that technology companies turn to for their marketing success, and he's worked with organizations such as Google, Agora Publishing, Perry Marshall, Microsoft, Verizon, and many more. Uh, his copy has brought in tens of millions of dollars for his clients, but the focus, the importance in family for him is paramount, so he builds his work life around family, so I wanted to focus on that. We're going to talk about that. Joshua, thanks for joining me. Thank you. Appreciate you having me. I appreciate it, and you know, since it's Inspired Insider, I always ask the question, and we talked a little bit about it, but um, about your lowest moment. Yeah. And then how you actually pushed forward through it. Yeah. Um, Really, to understand the story, you got to go back a little bit. I grew up in a pretty fractured home, some really rough environment stuff. And I won't get into my sob story. But Yeah. No, I want to talk about it. Yeah. What do you mean? um, my, uh, My parents were divorced when I was nine. And my dad had been kind of AWOL for a few years before that. Mm. Uh, my parents got remarried when I was 10 and they re-divorced each other when they were, when I was 11. And at that point my dad disappeared and was gone. We didn't know where he was dead or alive or where he was at for a little over five years. Uh, in the meantime, um, you know, I had siblings and relatives and aunts and uncles and all kinds of drug problems, abuse problems, sexual abuse, physical, mental, uh, suicide attempts, mental health issues. Um, that's tough stuff. Yeah, yeah, it was it was um, it was an interesting way to grow up. Um, you know, it wasn't all bad. There were some great stuff, but it was it was an interesting it was an interesting growing up year. So I, you know, in the middle of all that, I was basically deprived of a real strong dad, and my mom had to work to support. We had six children in our family, so she had to figure out how to make ends meet for six children. So she, of necessity, wasn't there a ton. How did she do that? That's- you know, she um, she, <laughs> she did multi-level things. She worked for people. She uh, she didn't have a college degree or anything. When I was a junior in high school, she took in elderly people into the home. We had three non-ambulatory elderly folks at our home, really? bedridden. So I changed a lot of diapers, big diapers, in high school. Wow. <laughs> did a lot of sponge baths. Uh, saw a lot of people pass away in our home when I was at their bedside and uh, dealt with death. And that's emotional. Yeah, it's interesting. Yeah. So why did you not get into nursing or something? <laughs> well, I didn't like changing his diapers. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I yeah, that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, yeah. By far and away, the lowest moment in my career. So in the last, you know, what I would consider 20 years of, of career and business development. By far and away, the lowest moment was when that um, company folded when we lived in Washington, the, the technology company. And... Um, even more so at that time than when my political fundraising company collapsed. And one of the reasons was is because I I had so much of myself wrapped into that. I was fragile as an individual. I didn't, I was, you know, our marriage was having a really tough time. My wife was, you know, very, very stressed out about having no money. And there's just so many pressures coming down that I didn't know how to deal with. And I remember one night, um, the night after my Cadillac got repossessed, <laughs> And, the, and we lived in a little cul-de-sac and the neighbors watched it drive away on two wheels, you know, really, that was always fun. Like, oh, what's going on over there? Oh, man. Um, and I remember, I remember it was about three o'clock in the morning and I'm laying prostrate on the floor, just crying, sobbing, wow. and just thinking like, what's the deal? Why can't I be somebody? You know, I've disappointed my wife. My kids are, are, we're having a hard time putting food on the table. We're getting kicked out of our house. My car just got, you know, repoed. The electricity is going off. Like, I'm the biggest freaking loser ever on the planet Earth. And I, and I just did not, it was very, very, very hard time for me. And so, you know, I'm like, just having a hard time. And, and that hard time stretched out for about six months, to be honest with you. Yeah. You know, follow up on that. We moved in with the in-laws. I kind of morphed into a nothingness. I wasn't really the head of my own household anymore. It was like, it was really, really hard. So how did I get out of that? Yeah. The most valuable skill that I learned through all of that is what I now call a high-definition marketing plan or micromanaging steps. And 
and I probably picked this up. If you remember the, um, um, oh, what's, I just forgot the name of the movie, but he talks about baby steps, you know. It's not Groundhog Day, but it's the same guy in it. Um, anyway. Bill Murray, you're talking about? Yeah, yeah, Bill Murray. And he talks about, you know, baby steps. And he's got the psychologist. And he's got to take baby steps here and baby steps there. Anyway, I realized that my problem was is I was looking at the whole big problem and all the things oh, that were It's overwhelming. On. Yeah. It's completely overwhelming. And I couldn't digest the whole thing. And so what I started doing is I started breaking it all down in small steps. So let me give you an example of this. I'll tell you a story about how this works. What happened is, is um, years later, and, and this, I, I got this analogy years later because I had money to do this, but years later, I went on a cruise with my children. Now I have an inherent fear of heights, right? And on the back of this cruise ship was like a 40 foot rock climbing wall. And, you know, and it sits up there and it doesn't really hang out over the ocean, but it feels like it does, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> and my kids have no fear of heights. They're like, oh, let's go climb the rock climbing wall. So they come down there and I'm watching them. And then my little kids come up to me and they're like, oh, dad, will you climb the rock climbing wall with me? I'm like, no, <laughs> dad. Okay, I will. So I just said, look, can you just put the harness on? Yeah, I can put the harness on. Can you put the helmet on? Yeah, I can put the helmet on. Can, you know, can you go stand beneath the wall? Yeah. Can you hold on to the, you know. And so what I did is I looked up at the bell and then I pictured that in my mind. That's the end goal. And then I just looked in front of me and I just looked one little step ahead of myself and I tore that wall down into little one and one and three inch increments. Right. That's all I did. And that is a perfect analogy. By the way, I got to the top. I survived. I rung the bell, you know, and I'm still here to tell the story. I didn't fall into the ocean, get eaten by sharks. None of that stuff happened. So to me, that was the perfect analogy. Whenever I face complicated, hard things, I break it all down. When I first started copywriting and made those cold calls. I was scared to death of cold calls. So yeah. what did I do? I broke it down into tiny little steps. Can you dial a phone number? Yeah. Can you say hello? Yeah, I know how to say hello. I can say hello. Can you ask a simple question? Do you hire outside writers? Yeah, I can ask that question. And if they say no, can you hang up really fast and not be embarrassed? Yeah, you can do that, right? So I broke everything down into these tiny little micro steps. And that has been a major, major part of me overcoming tons of head games and tons of problems and tons of crisis in my life. Yeah. yeah. That's powerful. I like yeah. that. You could yeah. use that for anything. Oh, yeah. And I have. <laughs> Josh, what's been the one of the proudest moments? Um, there's been a couple of proud moments. One of them has been uh, a few years ago when we had seven children. My wife was very tired. We put the children into a private school. Well, I didn't know at the time, but the private school was cavitating financially. <laughs> I tend to attract these things in my life, right? And so I went to the board of directors and I said, look, I just barely got my kids in this school. I don't want you guys to go bankrupt, so I want to help. And so I put together a campaign. I wrote some sales letters for them. I gathered up some major donors. I, so I used all of my skills there. And um, we tripled the enrollment of the school, wow. saved the school. And, uh, and it was a really proud moment for me. My fee for that was... Well, getting my children in there. I donated priceless. all. Priceless. We'll call it, it was priceless. priceless. It yeah. was totally priceless. So that was a super cool moment because I saw the joy on my wife's face. I saw the joy on my children's face. There's a fun follow-up story to that too, by the way. Um, and I'll tell it just real briefly. Yeah. Uh, one, of the, one of the kids in the school was there because they didn't fit into a regular school. Super high energy, very creative, you know, very eccentric just did not fit into a regular school, brilliant kid. And um, in the middle of all that, sadly, his father died in a plane crash. Oh my gosh. So um, I, a number of years later, this kid's like, does great, he's super successful now, you know, this has been a few years later, he's in a great college, he's moving on with his life, he does very well. But I got a note years later from the, his mom talking to me, thanking me for helping to save the school and explaining how the school system had been a huge support for her. It had been rallied around their children and helped them to emotionally deal with this. There's, you know, there's the friendships there, the academics, the structure, and uh, you know, she really thinks that her family just would have been very, very hard off. It's devastating. Was, totally devastated. But that school was there, and I so I helped save that school, and it was a really big deal. One other moment that I'm super, super proud of, um, or you know, um. 
I, I went through and had a huge, I pushed through a bunch of fears and had great um, growth in income. And one of my rewards, I'm a big gamification guy, by the way, too. I love games. And so I've always got games going on and rewards in my life. And one of the rewards that we had was to go on a cruise. Well, same cruise on the rock climbing wall. So went on this cruise. And uh, instead of just going on the cruise, I wanted to do something cool for my family. So we invited my grandmother, their great grandmother, to go with us. Whoa. Paid all of her expenses. She'd never been on a cruise. And uh, we just covered all of her expenses, flew her out to us. We spent a few days with her and then took her with us. And uh, man, she still talks about it. It's got pictures. It, you know, it was just awesome. It was, oh, wow. it was super cool moments. That's so, really I'm, special. I'm very proud of it. Those things are way, I mean, I love the, I love the successes um, that, that I've done and uh, the tens and hundreds of millions of dollars that I've helped clients earn and raise. But for me, the reason I do all that is for those yeah. cool moments. And that's time. what it's all about. Having your great, yeah, their great grandma spending a trip, oh, man. time with a trip. With totally. Them. Oh, yeah. 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 Josh, this has been fantastic. I can go on and on for hours. Uh, you have a meeting now, so I appreciate it. Where should we point people towards to find out more about you? Yeah, joshuaboswell.com is sort of my mainstay site. Um, I, uh, uh, I've got another entity out there that focuses on some of my speaking, um, which is uh, buyerpatterns.com. So joshuaboswell.com and buyerpatterns.com, both of those are places okay. where you can find out more about We'll link those stuff. up. Thank yeah. you so much, Joshua. I really Thank appreciate you. it. This has been yeah. fantastic. It has been fantastic. Good luck to you, buddy. Bye.